Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, I'm sharing you, with you my favorite niacinamide serums of 2020. These are the best niacinamide serums on the market, and which I think you should consider having in your skincare routine. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I've done a whole video already on my best skincare of 2020, which I'll link up there. But I've decided to break each step in our skincare routine down further so I can focus down on individual skin types and make sure the recommendations match your specific skin type. Niacinamide has taken the world by storm in 2020. I think it has to be the most viral and hyped skincare ingredient of this year. From TikTok, where everybody is fangirling over the ordinary niacinamide, through to the beauty editors that are saying it is the must have ingredient in your skincare routine. I think it is a wonderful ingredient to include, but it is important that you use niacinamide correctly. So I did do a video on how to apply it and some of the things you might want to consider when you're choosing your niacinamide. So I'll leave a link to that there. So when you've chosen the product that you want to include, you can obviously check that out and make sure that you're applying it correctly. Niacinamide is clinically proven to um, balance out some of the oil production in the skin, to help um, even out your skin tone and texture. It can also, in the right quantity, suppress in your irritation and redness. And what most people love it for is over time, if used correctly, it can reduce the size of your pores. Enlarged pores, so difficult to treat. And so niacinamide is a great ingredient to have in your skincare routine if that's something you want to tackle. Now, as with all um, ingredients and products, it's important that you match the product to your skin type. So I'm going to go through this and break it down by skin type so you know the right niacinamide for you. As with all of my videos, I've left links to any of the products mentioned in the description box below so you can check out any of the reviews and read up on the ingredients um, in more detail if you want. But they're all there in the description box so check them out. If you... So without further ado, no waffle, let's get straight into it. I want to start with my absolute favourite all round, just holy grail, 10 out of 10, ding ding ding, gorgeous product and that is from a brand called Geek and Gorgeous. You guys went hard for Geek and Gorgeous this year. I got so many recommendations for the brand. You were saying it's a fantastic brand, the formulations are great. So I bit the bullet and I tried um, the brand. I fell in love. It's a Hungarian brand, which, you know, we don't often call out Hungarian skincare, but Geek and Gorgeous represent fantastically for Hungary. And I did a whole video on the brand, which I'll leave a link to in the description box if you want to explore a little bit more from them. One of the standout products was their B Bomb Niacinamide. This is just a stunning formulation, which I think can be applicable to almost all skin types bar the most sensitive. It's a 10% niacinamide. So in terms of concentrations, most people should be looking for between a five and a 10% niacinamide. If you're super sensitive, you might want to go lower than that from like a three to a 5%. So this is applicable for everyone bar the most sensitive and is just beautifully formulated to match the skin's natural pH. So its pH is 5.5 of the product. Our skin's natural pH is 5.5, slightly acidic. So that's really important to minimize any irritation and redness that you might get from the inclusion of a niacinamide cinnamide to have that right pH balance. Love this product. I love the price point, which is eight euros, 57 pounds or around the $9 price point. That is drugstore and affordable. It's also cruelty free as are all of the Geek and Gorgeous products and vegan. So it's like ticking every single box. If you use this product in a 10% concentration over around two to three months, you'll see a reduction in the size of your pores. Your skin will be brighter. A number of people come to me and say they can't make the ordinary 10, niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% work. They find it too drying or irritating for their skin. This is the perfect dupe for that product, which will not do any of that. So it's got, it hasn't got some of the harsh emulsifiers in there, which the ordinary product does, so it won't dry the skin down. And the formulation will make sure it's a lot less irritating than some other ones out there. A beautiful product and one that I would definitely recommend you check. In fact, I check out the whole, whole brand because it's a beautiful, beautiful product line, but this is one of their standout products. Now going into more specific skin types. That was a great all-rounder, but what happens if you have a specific skin type? So for those of you that are sensitive, a lot of people say, I just don't want to go there with niacinamide. 
we read stories around how it can be sensitizing, irritating, and cause redness. And so it puts people off that already have sensitive skin. That's a shame because in a small concentration, niacinamide can actually be fantastic, absolutely fantastic at reducing redness and irritation. It's a therapeutic ingredient when used in the right concentration of around three to 5%. So the one that I would go for if you want to include a standalone niacinamide in your routine, but you have existing skin sensitivity, is the Inculist niacinamide. I love, like, this brand just speaks to my heart. It's British, it's cruelty-free, it's a beautiful price point, all-around gorgeous brand. And then Niacinamide gets so, so many thumbs up from people, and I think it's so deserved. This product is formulated beautifully with a lower strength niacinamide. So you're not punching at the 10% which you're getting from the Geek and Gorgeous, which makes it much less irritating and more therapeutic. It's also got allantoin in, which is a great ingredient for calming and soothing the skin. So you're getting the dual benefit of that and hyaluronic acid as well. So this is far from the drying niacinamides that some people experience. This is going to be hydrating. It can replace your standalone hyaluronic acid if you already use a standalone serum and is going to be calming calming and soothing. I love, love, love this product. I moved to a 10% because I think that's what my skin needs, but this product has a real niche and a benefit for anyone who's looking for a lower strength niacinamide and one that can deliver for sensitive skin. Absolutely great. This comes in at six pounds here in the UK, $7.50 in the US. So drugstore, affordable, who doesn't love that? What I think takes this product from an eight or a nine out of 10 to a ding, 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 10 out of 10 star performer is the radish root ferment, which they include in the ingredients list. Radish root is both calming, but also enhances the brightening elements of everything else that's going on in this serum. So without increasing the sensitivity or the risk of sensitivity, it's gonna maximize the brightening potential of the serum. I and mean, this is what makes it just one of the best niacinamide serums out there. Now, moving on from the sensitive skin amongst us to what is like my skin type, which is the oily and acne blemish prone skin. This is where I think niacinamide comes into its own. Used at a higher concentration, shrink the size of the pores, regulate that oil, and also help fade some of those dark spots which you might have got from blemishes which just haven't healed properly. I suffer with hyperpigmentation as a result of the acne scars that I have, and niacinamide is fantastic in your routine to help tackle that. My go-to is actually the one that I just mentioned, which is the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. A lot of people say this is quite a drying product. It is, and this is why I would only recommend it for people who have oily or blemish prone skin. I did a whole video breaking down the pros and cons of this product, which I'll link up there, because you might want to check that out for some more detail before you commit to this product. I love it though, because that little bit of drying that you get from the emulsifier, the emulsifying agent which is in there is a little bit on the drying side. So that additional drying is great for someone like me whose skin produces way too much oil than we need and leads to breakouts. This is a beautiful product and it'll help to mattify the skin as well. The zinc in there will balance the oil production a little bit further and just makes it a fantastic product for people with oily skin. Where I think some of the negativity about this product comes from is because people use it or think it's the holy grail for all skin types. It's not, and it's one that I would definitely recommend for oily only. I get the larger bottle, which is the 60 mil, which is a much um, better price point. I mean, it's the ordinary, so they're all a great price point, but you make a really good saving if you buy the larger size. So this, I think, is nine pounds here in the UK. It's around $11 for a really good, this'll last about three months. I would recommend if you want to use this product and you have oily skin, use it on your T-zone and the areas where you have that hyperpigmentation and then large pores, and maybe don't put it on the drier areas like your cheeks where you might not suffer with that same overproduction of oil. It's a gorgeous product if used correctly by the right skin types, and so some of the negativity and the backlash people are giving it, I just don't think is called for. Use it correctly and you are, it's game changing. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, ding, 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 gorgeous but only for people like myself who have very oily skin. So what happens if you are the opposite and you have very dry skin and you want to include a niacinamide in your routine? Well, I actually think niacinamides pair really well with moisturizers, which is why you often see the, it as an ingredient in other skincare steps, so in your moisturizers and in some of your other serums. If you have dry skin, I would recommend you include your niacinamide as part of your moisturization step at the end of your routine. And the go-to for me is the face theory amyl c whip this is a stunning stunning moisturizer that not only is lightweight yet super hydrating but also includes niacinamide and vitamin c so you're getting loads of actives in one product 
but also that burst of hydration. So vitamin C and niacinamide, which can be drying if used alone, when combined with this product, doesn't offset some of that dryness and gives you the hydration you need. So if you have dry skin, I fully recommend you incorporate niacinamide in an existing step. And I would reach for that Face Theory MLC Whip if you haven't tried it already. They do two versions. They do one with an SPF 20 and one without. Don't bother with the one with SPF 20. Ratchet, awful, doesn't apply, wrong consistency. Just really don't like that product. But the one without, stunning, beautiful, one of those game-changing products. So definitely would try that out. Now, before I draw the video to a close, I do want to share with you just one like product which I found, which I fell in love with. And that is the also from Face Theory. So the same creators of the MLC Whip. They're on fire this year. I love Face Theory as a brand and they're just, they're knocking it out of the park this year. But for me, their Port Bright 10 serum is like one of those products that you find, you read the ingredients list and you think, is this too good to be true? So this incorporates, this is for people who really want to shrink the size of their pores and want those quick results. This contains niacinamide at a 10% concentration, fantastic. Azelaic acid, which is beautiful at reducing irritation, but also fighting any um, bacteria on the skin, which could lead to acne and blockages. So again, great. And salicylic acid, which is gonna go into the pore and flush out all that dirt and debris and do an in pore exfoliation. This product, like game changer. If you haven't tried it already and you are concerned about the size of your pores, this is the one product I would get in my life. Try it, you will love it. You've got to be careful because the strengths in here mean I don't think it's applicable for people with dry skin or with very sensitive skin types. But for normal combination or oily with enlarged pores, this product, absolutely stunning. Face Theory, I think, could be my favourite skincare brand of 2020. There's a couple vying for that crown, but Face Theory have knocked it out of the park. Again, cruelty-free. Most of their products are vegan, so obviously I'd recommend if you are living a plant-based lifestyle to check the individual products, but a lot of them, they have a great vegan selection, and cruelty-free, who doesn't like that? This is £14, but a little goes a long way because you're just using it on the areas where you have those enlarged pores, and this is a godsend of a product. Honestly, check it out. If the pore size is your number one skin complaint, this could change it up dramatically. There you are, guys. I've shared with you my favorite niacinamide serums of the best niacinamides of 2020. Of course, this is an exhaustive list. There are so many other ones I've tried and liked, but I think these are the ones for each skin type which just stand out as being sensational. Leave me a comment below if you've tried any of these products or if you're going to give any of them a try. What are your go-to niacinamides? And of course, I would recommend if you haven't already, check out that video I did on how, that I linked earlier and below on how to use niacinamide correctly. Because I always say in skincare, there's no point having the best amazing products. If you're using them incorrectly, you're not gonna be getting those benefits. So check that out to make sure you're using it correctly and getting the maximum benefit for these fantastic products. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, bye.